Welcome back to the channel. Glad you guys are here. If you're new, I'm Chris. That's Mike back there. We are Positive RV Journey. All right, good morning from Hillsborough River State Park in Florida. We had a pivot. We were gonna do two harvest hosts and then head down to Naples to near where my mom lives. And they had this huge storm come through and we had to cancel the harvest hosts and find this place. So thankfully the state park had some openings and we were able to get in. Walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time What it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray or blue No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Standing on my feet I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop It is my time I know what it's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down pack up and head to Naples and we want you guys to come with us wanna be free of this heart yeah wanna feel your arms around me I need you more I need you here more than I would like to admit so while we're letting the jacks come up I want to tell you guys, this really seems like it's a very nice state park. They have kayaking, bike rentals. There's some rapids here. Now, while we were here, it rained most of the time, so we didn't get a chance to partake of any of that. There's a lot of hiking trails, and uh, it's a really nice location because you're just east of Tampa Bay. So if you're ever in this area, come check it out because I think we're going to come back and check it out at some point, too. Tomorrow, yeah. Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight? Call you so today is a very exciting day for us. It's a travel day. We are headed to Naples. We have a now three turn right. stay at Crystal Lakes. That's going to be the longest this rig has sat still uh, since we left um, some Our 13 weeks ago. We left our bricks and sticks, and it'll be the longest stay we've ever had since we've owned it. We're looking forward to going to Crystal Lake because we were there last year. We kind of 
consider it a vacation because it is an expensive stay where we're going. It's also close to my mom, which oh, is fun wrong. because we'll be able to do fun stuff with her. So come along with us. Every time I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break, you never lie. You never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. All right, people, it's time for another edition of Cooking with the Quades. As you guys can clearly see, we are on the water. We're on a lake in Florida. I spent all morning out there this morning fishing. Wait till you see what we're going to cook today. As you guys can clearly see, I caught this out on the lake this morning. I fished all morning to catch this wild sockeye salmon. Wild, just so you know, this, I caught this in the wild this morning. So we're gonna prep it and get it ready. Sometimes the hardest part of fishing is actually, you know, cleaning the catch, which I, I'm about to do here. You know, you have to get that cover off of the fish. Being a little stubborn, but trust me, I will win. I usually do. So we're uh, we're doing a fine job cleaning the fish. Oh, here we go. You have to get your fingers under that first layer of uh, protective coating the fish has, and then once you do that, you can get it taken off. So I've been craving bagels and lox, so I'm actually going to take a portion of this up. Um, since it was a long day's catch to get this fish, we're going to try to get a couple dinners out of it. So I'm going to cut off the thin part here that usually gets overcooked, and I'm going to lightly, quickly smoke it so I can have bagels and lox. So I'm going to get that uh, ready to go. And the other portions will be for a meal. Let me get that uh, other piece of skin off of there. There we go. It's a fine specimen. So I think I'm going to cut it probably right about here this will be the uh, portion that i smoke skin can be a little tough this ought to give me a couple of a couple of bagels and then i'll portion this up for a couple dinner portions for us okay. all right now that that's done i'll get back to you guys in a second all right, let's get rid of this fish skin and some of this other stuff and get it ready for the uh, smoker. We're just going to give this a quick smoke. It doesn't need much. Let me get rid of the skin from the freshly caught fish out of the freshwater lake. You know, that's where salmon comes from. We're going to do just a little salt and a little pepper. Give you guys one more shot of the lake where I caught the salmon that we're now smoking right there behind us. Pretty good sized lake. I fished that bad boy all day to catch the salmon so I could smoke it this evening. So we got it on the grill at 250. We are smoking it with some sugar maple. Should give it a nice little sweet flavor. All we need now is the bagel, red onion, and capers. We'll be good to go. And there you have it, the finished product. Just lightly smoked, probably medium to medium rare. I put a little bit of olive oil on top, then salt and pepper, and that's it. So I'll let it cool down, then I will bag it up, put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow's Bagels and Lock breakfast. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Cooking with the Quades. Today was smoked salmon for tomorrow's Bagel and Locks.
are at Forever Fiore Tea Room in Naples, Florida, and we're having high tea with my mama and her friend Donna and Mike. So we did a tea in London, which will be in a, another video. And so we're gonna compare and see how this does compared to London. I gotta say, I'm really excited. I think I'm looking good. I found Lindsay. She is in Estero, Florida, through a couple of different contacts. Anyway, so I've needed to have my hair done for quite some time, and I'm really grateful that I found her. So stay tuned for the final product. So she was washing my hair in here, and she had to pull something out. I don't know from which side, but all of a sudden there was water all over the floor. So you can see all of the wet towels that she had to get the water up. Holy cow. Is that all the water? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Is it gonna drain? Is it gonna drain? I don't know. I think- It's not draining. It's gonna go right back in here now. Oh my goodness. Bubble, bubble, toilet trouble. Just in case. Just in case. Oh my God, it's still in there. I'm so scared right now. Oh my. All right, so. That's so nasty. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's gross. Something else really funny happened. She had an issue with her sink and she went to pull this screen or something out and water went all over the floor. And I really wish I'd had the camera rolling then because it was, it was kind of comical. We can laugh about it now. She wasn't super happy at the time, but now she's laughing about it. All right, I'm toning y'all. It's mayonnaise. No, it's not. I'm joking. It's not mayonnaise. This is Lindsay, and she transformed me from a hot mess to a beauty queen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was wonderful to meet yeah, you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you too. If you're ever in Estero, Fort Myers, Naples, Bonita, come by Sola Salons. Look up Lindsay. I'm going to put a link for her information on in the description below, so come check her out. Thank you. Come see me. It is a mostly sunny day in Florida, so we thought we would come hang out at the pool. There's two pools here at Crystal Lake. This is the small pool. There's a larger pool towards the entrance. And we, as you can see, we have this whole place to ourselves. It is wonderful. <music> The stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are we are here at bucky's rv service center not really we're in crystal lake florida and we drove through a pretty hefty rainstorm on the way here and we noticed that we were getting a damp area on the dash and couldn't figure out where it was coming from then i saw one or two drops of water on the windowsill thought i'd go along and tighten these screws up well as you can clearly see they're all stripped out. We did a little research and found out that the refrigerator was replaced and the only way to get the refrigerator in here was to take this window out. So whoever took this window out to put the new refrigerator in, stripped just about all the screws. Here's another one, stripped, pulled them right out. So I'm assuming that's one of the reasons it's leaking. Someone also went back and run a bead of caulk along the top of the window on the outside, which I'll videotape later as I'm cleaning it off to try to put the window back together correctly. So whoever put this back in used one of these, which you don't do on aluminum windows. It's okay to take the screws out with these, but a half a turn too much and you've stripped the screw. And I'm assuming that's why most of these are stripped. But during the rainstorm on the way here, 
we had a significant amount of water leak in here. The night before when we were parked, it was actually dripping at a rate that we had to put a, a picture under here to catch the water. We got about a quarter of a beer picture full of water iced tea picture if you prefer. So we're at a point now where I'm going to take this whole frame apart, pull it out, and clean the caulk from the outside, try to readjust the gasket if possible. I'm going to go ahead and put another bead of caulk along this outside edge, then try to tighten the window back up. These are number eight screws that came out, uh, sheet metal screws. I bought number 10. They're slightly larger. I'm going to check before I get any further to make sure that these number 10s that I bought are going to grab and work in here, and I will be putting those in by hand. So stay tuned for some more video on what happens with this project. This is Mike from the future again, giving you guys an RV repair update. And before you ask, I had to have carpal tunnel surgery bilateral on both hands. That's why I have the bandages on. Things are doing good. So as you can see in the video, we had a leak here, which I took the frame out, did all the repairs, put larger screws in, tightened everything up, did a good caulk job. Zero water has been in since then. So I want to give you guys an update on that. Thank you for watching. And just remember, it's free to subscribe to our channel. And see you guys next time. Bye. So we had a leak here. I believe you guys saw the video. They did see it, not believe. All right. Before you even ask, I had bilateral carpal tunnel syndrome. So ergo the... Surgery. <laughs> so this is Mike from the future giving you guys an RV repair update. But before you ask, I had... Uh... <laughs> Jesus, God help me.